Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, a lecturer in Ahlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to the series of the lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths E. We have started our discussion with properties of triangles. We discussed about the basic rules such as sine, cosine, projection and all other kinds of rules and then we discussed about half angle rules. In the last session we discussed about small and capital and, and uh, all different kinds of rules, right? In this session we will solve the most of the problems which includes all the formulae, right? Which are almost all uh, LAQs, okay? Shall we start? Fine. See here, the question again here given as show that cos square a by 2 plus cos square b by 2 plus cos square c by 2 as 2 plus r by 2 r. How to do that? What is the formula of cos square a by 2? Do I have? Yes, I have, right? That is, let us take LHS as cos square a by 2 plus cos square b by 2 plus cos square c by 2. Tell me the formula of cos square a by 2. What is it? That is 1 plus cos a by 2, 1 plus cos b by 2 and the next 1 plus cos c by 2. Isn't it? Yes or no? 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, let us move it outside that will become 3 by 2 and the left out is half into cos a plus cos b plus cos c. Now just tell me what is cos a plus cos b plus cos c? which we discussed in the last session's problem, right? That is nothing but, at least try to remember this uh, one or two things. 1 plus 4 sin a by 2, sin b by 2, sin c by 2. Just multiply this uh, outside term inside. We are almost done, just look at here. That is 3 by 2 plus half into 1 is 1 by 2 plus 4 into half is 2 sin a by 2 sin b by 2 sin c by 2. 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 4 by 2 which is 2 and if you observe here, I have denominator 2r. We do not have 2r here. In order to get 2r, if we multiply 2r and 2r here, I will get it as 4r sin a by 2 sin b by 2 sin c by 2 which is nothing but r, right? That is it. That is just multiply 2r to the numerator and sin c by 2 divided by 2 r. Clear? Just check it here 2 1s are 2 2s are this becomes 2 plus this whole term will be 4 r sin a by 2 sin b by 2 sin c by 2 that is nothing but small r divided by 2 r. Is not it? Is it clear? Did you understand this particular problem? Fine. Shall we do one more problem? See here. The next question is he is asking us to show that r plus r 3 plus r 1 minus r 2 is equal to 4 r cos b, okay? Shall we do? See here, again this is one of the most important kinds of 4 or 7 they may ask in any form, okay? Now look here, let us take the whole 4 terms into 2, 2 parts. Let us take r plus r 3 first, then r 1 minus r 2 next, okay? Just tell me what is the formula of r? r is 4 r sin a by 2 sin b by 2 sin c by 2 plus r 3 is 4 r cos a by 2 cos b by 2 sin c by 2. Is it right? If I take 4 r sin c by 2 common here, what do I get? I get it as sin a sin b plus cos a cos b. What is the formula of uh, cos a cos b plus sin a sin b? That is nothing but cos of a minus b by 2, is not it? Then uh, let us write r 1 minus r 2. What is r 1? 4 r sin a by 2 cos b by 2 cos c by 2 minus r 2 will be 4 r cos a by 2 sin b by 2 cos c by 2. What can we take as common? 4 r cos c by 2, right? That is 4 r cos c by 2, then what are the terms left? Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b, that is sin of a minus b, sin of a minus b by 2. Is it clear? Now just uh, let us add these both terms, what do we get? That is r plus r 3 
plus R1 minus R2 is equal to 4 R if I uh, okay let me write everything sin C by 2 cos of A minus B by 2 plus 4 R cos C by 2 into sin of A minus B by 2 clear. If I take 4 R common on both the sides I mean both the terms I will get sin C by 2 cos A minus B by 2 sin C by 2 cos A minus B by 2 plus cos C by 2 sin A minus B by 2. Just check it here sin A cos B plus cos A sin B what is the formula of that? That is what is it? Sin of A plus B by 2 that is what right here it is C and here it is A minus B. Now just tell me what is C plus A can I write C plus as 180 minus B yes we can write right that is 4 R sin 180 minus B minus B that is 4 R sin of T minus B that is 4 R here sin of 90 minus B is cos B is not it just check here R plus R 3 plus R 1 minus R 2 that is first of all let us write R plus R 3 then R 1 minus R 2 ok. We will substitute and simplify the formulas and the next we will add these both terms and we will take 4 R as common then I will directly get sin C cos A minus B by 2 cos C by 2 sin A minus B by 2 therefore that is in the form of sin A cos B plus cos A sin B which is sin of A plus B. Okay. I will directly write C plus A as 180 minus B therefore 180 minus 2 B 180 by 2 is 90 2 B by 2 is B therefore sin of 90 minus B is cos B clear is it okay with this problem shall we do a few more problems let us do. Now see the next problem the question given here it is sin theta is given as A by B plus C he is asking us to show that cos theta is equal to 2 root B C by B plus C into cos A by 2. Again there is also very important question see here he gave sin value he is asking us to prove cos, uh, cos uh, value how to do that is I already know the rule identity right cos square theta is nothing but 1 minus sin square theta we know that right yes or no fine that is cos square theta is equal to 1 minus what is the value of sin theta given a by b plus c whole square this will be 1 minus a square by b plus c whole square the LCM is b plus c whole square let us do that this is b plus c whole square in the numerator b plus c whole square minus a square ok. Then uh, let us split this that will become b square plus c square plus 2 b c minus a square by b plus c whole square. Now just tell me uh, do you find any kind of formula there are you able to find just check here b square plus c square minus a square that is nothing but 2 b c cos a is not it cosine rule that is why I told in this session we will always do all the problems which includes both the formulas starting from the first right. Now see here if I take 2 b c common I will get it as cos A plus 1 whole divided by B plus C whole square. What is 1 plus cos A? That is nothing but what is it? Here it is cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos A is nothing but 2 cos square theta by 2, 2 B C into 2 cos square A by 2 divided by B plus C, B plus C whole square in the denominator. Now just write everything together. 4 B C cos square A by 2 divided by B plus C whole square this is the value of cos square theta he is asking us to find the cos theta then can I write it as cos theta is equal to square root of 4 B C cos square A by 2 by B plus C whole square is not it now just uh, apply the square root of each and every term square root of 4 is 2. Let, let us keep this BC as it is cos square ka square root is cos A by 2 
and the denominator b plus c whole square ka square root is b plus c, is not it? This is what he asked us to prove, clear, is not it uh, nice? This is very simple and again very important, do not just uh, take it light, once again let me tell you here, cos theta is 1 minus sin square theta, okay? sin is a by b plus c, I have taken the LCM as b plus c whole square, okay? Here b plus a whole square minus a square will be b square plus c square plus 2 b c minus a square. If you observe b square plus c square minus a square is nothing but 2 b c cos a, clear? How to remember? Because negative is in a, that is why I got it as cos a, okay? Plus 2 b c as it is by b plus c whole square. Here if I take 2 b c as common, I will get it as cos a plus 1 by b plus c whole square, okay? What is cos a plus 1? 2 cos square a by 2. 2 into 2 is 4 b c cos square a by 2 by b plus c whole square. After applying the square root, I will get it as 2 root b c cos a by 2 by b plus c. Is it clear? Shall we do one more uh, problem of this kind? Let us do. See here, the question given here it is a is equal to b minus c secant theta, then show that tan theta equal to 2 root b c by b minus c into sin a by 2. Is it uh, not the similar to the previous question? Yes, right. But what is given the that is given as cos theta equal to a by b plus c, okay. Here a equal to b minus c into secant theta, see here, here also can't we write it as secant theta as a by b minus c, we can write, right, fine that is it. What is the relationship between secant and tan? I know that secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 from this tan theta or else tan square theta is equal to secant square theta minus 1. Is it okay? Is it clear? Fine. Let me find out the value of tan square theta. What is the value of secant theta? Secant theta is a by b minus c whole square minus 1. That is, let me separate the square for numerator and denominator. That becomes a square by b minus c whole square minus 1. Okay, then what is the LCM here? LCM is b minus c whole square, numerator is a square minus b minus c whole square. What to do now? In the last uh, question, what did we do? Uh, we have already got the values of b square, c square, a square, everything in terms of cos, okay. We have solved it clearly, but how to do here? Let me take this a square and b minus a whole square in the form of a square minus b square, that is a plus b into a minus b, okay. See here, uh, you will know why did I take like that, that is a plus b into a minus b, this is plus, is it okay? Clear, a plus b, that is b minus a will be as it is a minus b, minus b minus to minus plus c, is it clear? Now just check it here, a plus b, a plus b is nothing but 2s minus c, that is 2s minus c, already minus c is there. Here a plus c is 2s minus b minus b, whole divided by b minus c whole square, fine, is it clear? That is cool. 2s minus there are 2 c's are there, therefore this will become tan square theta is equal to 2s minus 2 c into here 2s minus 2 b. 2s minus 2b, whole divided by b minus c whole square. Is it clear? Now see here, 2 is common from these two terms, that is 2 into s minus c, here also 2 into s minus b whole divided by b minus c whole square, okay? Now just check 4 into s minus c, s minus c by b minus c whole square everything is set, we cannot simplify more. Just check into the question, what is given 2 root b c by b minus c, what are the terms we have in the question, I mean in the solution 2, we have 4, b minus c, b minus a whole square we have and here we have sin e by 2. Just tell me what is the formula of sin e by 2 and we do not have b c also, okay. What is the formula of sin e by 2? That is under root s minus c, s minus b by b c. Okay, that is why it is better to multiply b c to the numerator and the denominator. Therefore, it becomes as 4 b c by b minus c whole square into 
S minus C, S minus B by B C. What is the formula of this? That is sin square A by 2, 4 B C by B minus C whole square into sin square A by 2. Clear? This is the value of tan square theta. Then just tell me what is the value of tan theta? Apply square root to all the terms. Square root of 4 is 2 square root of B C divided by B minus C into sin A by 2. Is it clear? Is it right? Did you understand? Shall we check once again? Let us see here. The question given here it is A is equal to B minus C into secant theta. But I want the value of only secant theta. That is why I will write secant theta is equal to A by B minus C. Okay? And the identity between secant and tan is secant square minus tan square is 1. Therefore, I will write tan square is equal to secant square minus 1. Okay? What is the value of secant here? Secant is A by B minus C. Just I will substitute the value of A by B minus C here. Then LCM is B minus C whole square. Therefore, A square by B minus C whole square minus 1. Okay? That is LCM is B minus C whole square. It becomes A square minus B minus C whole square. That is here it is A square minus B square form. A plus B into A minus B. Okay? Divided by B minus C whole square. What is A plus B? That is 2S minus C minus C. What is A plus C? 2S minus B minus B whole divided by B minus C whole square. Okay? And the next step, here 2S minus 2C and here 2S minus 2B. Fine? Here if I take 2 as common it becomes S minus C. If I take 2 as common it becomes S minus B. 2 into 2 is 4 S minus C, S minus B together and B minus C in the denominator. Okay? We do not have BC, BC term that is why we will multiply BC and BC therefore S minus C, S minus B by BC will be sin square A by 2. Clear? That is 4 BC by B minus C whole square into sin square A by 2. If I apply square root on this, this will become 2 root BC by B minus C into sin A by 2. Is it clear? Fine. These are the different different problems using all the formulas of properties of triangle. Clear? Fine. Let us meet in the next session with the more problems of problems of triangles. Okay? Thank you.